Welcome everybody to Integrated Map 2. We're talking about 4.4 special right triangles. Make sure you put your first name and your last name at the top because you are being great on that, as well as your period number. Once again, our topic is special right triangles. And more specifically, we're doing part one of two. Please write that in. Alright, here we go. So the term we're talking about is, for the first one, is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. First, some information on this. This is a right triangle. Okay, so it's a right triangle. What else do we also know? Well, that it's an isosceles, isosceles triangle. That means that the legs are congruent. And that also means that the angles that are not the hypotenuse, the 90 degree angle right here, those are going to be congruent with each other. That means they must be 45 degrees. So there are certain properties with this type of special triangle. So let's go on. First, we can determine the hypotenuse. This is going to be the side across from the 90 degree angle. You know, we have to determine what type of special triangle. Is it a 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle, or a 45, 45, 90 triangle? And so we're either going to have to find the leg length or measurements. Just one leg, because they're both the same. So we're going to have to figure that out. All right, we're going to find the hypotenuse. Is it a leg? Hey, from this information, is it a 45, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle? All right, so straight up, let's give you an example of what uh, what is the relationship between the sides. Since we know the angles, there is a relationship between the sides. So let's give it to you. All right, so here we go. The side, if the sides are equal to x, then the hypotenuse is equal to x times radical 2. Now, we could probably prove this by going like x squared plus x squared is equal to, let's call it hypotenuse. We're like, what is that equal to? Hypotenuse squared. Well, if we add these together, we get 2 x squared is equal to h squared. If we find if we do the square root to cancel it, the two stays inside, and there's an x on the outside, and there's where how we got our hypotenuse side. Or you can do this every single time, or just remember, yo, if this leg is x, it's gonna be x times radical two. Either memorize this or understand. The Pythagorean Theorem. Alright, let's go on. So, find the hypotenuse length given an angle measure. Alright, well, we understand this 45 degree angle, so we understand that this has to be 45 degree angles, and this is 7 right there. Alright, well, I know that x will equal 7 times radical 2. That's it. All right, let's go on. So once again, I know there's a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So this has to equal six. So this guy right here has to equal x times radical two or six radical two. That's it. How am I getting it? Well, I could either do the following, understand the formula or show you this work. <laughs> All right, so this last one right here. So showing the work of Pythagorean's theorem, we
we get down to 72 is equal to x squared. So then 36 times 2 is equal to 72. And if it's multiplying, we can simplify the radical 36. So the square root of 36 is 6 with a radical 2 left over. That's it. All right. Or you just memorize this and understand that the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times radical 2. Let's go on. So go ahead and try these out for yourself. And we will go on in 3, 2, 1. Alright, here we go. Find the hypotenuse length given the side measure. Alright. Well, first off, I know that this is an isosceles triangle. So I know that this is 45 and 45 then. Well, now I know that this is going to be 18 radical 2. Simple. So this one, I see that this is an isosceles. So I know that these are congruent with each other. So they must be 45, 45, 90 triangle. So then x has to equal 25 radical 2. Remember, it's the leg times radical 2, and that's equal to the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle is equal to the leg times radical 2. All right, let's go on. So now we have a few more problems I want you to work on. For this one right here, remember, if I had like radical 4 times radical 4, that's equal to 4. So if it's radical 2 times radical 2, that's equal to what? Just remember that it, that you have something more than just radical 2. All right, let's go on. All right, find the value of x and y. Now, if there's no x, oh well, don't worry about it. Well, looking at this, it looks like I know that my hypotenuse is equal to the leg times radical 2. Okay, well, I know my, I don't know my leg, so I'm going to say x radical 2 is equal to 10. Okay, well, I just have to get him to the other side. So I'm going to... This is multiplying, so I'm going to divide by radical 2 on both sides. When I do that, I get 10 radical 2. And at this moment, we understand that we can't have radicals in the denominator. So we're going to have to multiply by radical 2 on the top and the bottom. 10 times radical 2 is 10 radical 2. And radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. But wait, there's more. We, we just have to simplify. 10 divided by 2 is what? All right, it's 5. All right, so we have 5 radical 2 is equal to x. There we go. Let's do one more. And then I'll leave the rest for you. So once again, I understand that the hypotenuse is equal to the length times radical 2. So if I know my hypotenuse is 4, and I'm going to know my leg is x, I know it's x times radical 2. Well, divide by radical 2, or I could do something a little different. Let's do something instead of dividing. Let's multiply. Because... we'll get something different. This will be 4 radical 2. So this is just a little different way of doing this. Is equal to x times radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. And now what we need to do is we need to divide by 2. Because the opposite of tangent is dividing. And I get 2. Radical 2 is equal to x. So we could have done that for this one. Let me show you the work. I'm going to pause it in 3, 2, 1.
So here's number nine again. We can see, hey, we get the same answer. It's just the work is done a little bit differently because there's two ways of getting rid of a radical that's being multiplied. We can either multiply it by the radical and radical two times radical two is two, no more radical, and then just divide by two. Or we can divide by radical two on both sides, cancels out, and now we have to get, but we have to get rid of this radical on the bottom. And so we have an extra step. Either way, you get to choose how you would like to solve it. All right, guys, let's go off what the rest of the problems look like. All right, so it looks like we have another one solving. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more harder. We understand that. Hey, look, we have to solve for x and y. Remember, I saw sleeve triangle. What do the angles have to equal? And here's a real world situation. But, you know, just pretend that it's, you know, you understand that it's a 45, 45 degree angle, so, or 90 triangle, so we'll solve it. And that's it. You have three questions and you're done for your homework. Bye, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time in class.